Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to today's video. So you already saw the title, it's nothing special going on. I just really splurged and purchased the new to me, Revere. So let's go ahead and get into this video really quick. Off gate, I used this and recorded it and hated the footage. I hated the way my hair turned out. If you watched my Sephora haul video, um, I had used the Revere, stretched my hair out, and then I used the Trey Lux mousse and just did a three strand twist out. That's what their hair was. But I just, I really hated the footage and I just really feel like I didn't give the Revere a really good chance because I was not impressed. So here we are. We're going to try this again. I have conditioner in my hair right now. So, um,. I'm going to go ahead and rinse that out, make sure my hair is really good and detangled, and find, find a heat protectant to use. And then we're going to get into this and see how this really works on my hair because if I don't like it, I'm returning it, okay? So yeah, if you got any tips or anything, go ahead and leave them below, but um, let's go get this started. Okay, we're back, ashy and all. Uh, I have my hair in six sections because uh, I think that's the sections that I'm going to attempt to dry my hair in. All I did was condition it. So it's still pretty wet as you can see. For my heat protectants, I think I'm going to cocktail the Briogeo Farewell Frizz with none other than the Blue Tansy Serum from Audra Beauty. They both have heat protecting properties. I'm pretty sure this does. Let me double check that. Yeah, it protects up to 375. So I'm just going to cocktail them together like I usually do with my Olaplex and apply it to this section of my hair. Uh, when I rinse the deep conditioner out, I then detangled my hair with my Cosmology brush. I have been loving that lately. And so, here we are. So that's what it looks like. I just want to make sure my hair is really covered in heat protectant. Because I don't want, you know, any accidents to occur. Should I go in with more? I don't want to overdo it. I don't know if, like, I need a trim or if the products I use this wash day just didn't really do it for me but my ends are not really giving right now anywho i took just a little bit more so if you are familiar with my channel then you know because um i have colored my hair and i don't know i'm just kind of in a state where i really want to wear my hair in more stretched styles allegedly because i haven't done it yet um I was intrigued and that is what really drove me to go ahead and purchase this Rev Air uh, just to see if it was quicker and easier to elongate my hair. But honestly, the first time that I tried it, it still took me 45 minutes and I didn't really get the best results, but I did it on hair that had kind of dried overnight. So. What I'm going to do is, there's no way I would do this big of a section. I'm going to split this section in half, which still might be too thick. Freaking thick, y'all. That does look awfully thick. So we're going to go in with a third. We're going to go in with that much and clip the rest away. Because I feel like this is pretty loud, I'm going to just do a voiceover for this. But I'm going to use it on six with the highest heat. And I'm going to see what that does i would time it but like i said before it took me 45 minutes and also with recording i feel like that always just adds a little more time so i just really want to see how great of a result i can get this second time around so here goes nothing <laughs> Just in case this is your first time ever hearing about a Rev Air, it is basically a reverse blow dryer. So it uses less heat than a blow dryer and flat iron, and it's really good for all hair types, and it is supposed to help straighten or at least elongate your curls and just stretch your hair without using as much heat and manipulation. 
Depending on how loose or tightly curled your hair is, there are seven di different tension settings and there are three different heat options. For my type hair, I tried it with the six to begin with, but I ended up moving to a seven just because I wanted a sleeker, more smooth finished look. This is also safe to use on protective styles, like if you have your hair in twists and you want to stretch or dry those, you wanna use it on braids, hair extensions, locks. It's great for all types of hair. And I also had my spray bottle on hand just in case my hair dried out because I did notice that it worked better when my hair was soaking wet. I did want to make sure that my hair was fully detangled because my hair has a tendency to curl back on top of itself even after I detangled and I wanted this to give me the best results possible. I held it in place for 60 to 90 seconds and I didn't do a lot of the pumping that you see people use. I watched other videos and I really just smoothed it around my scalp making sure that my hair was completely in it and being stretched to the full capacity. Although I didn't time myself, I know for sure that it still took me at least 30 to 45 minutes to dry my hair because I was watching TV while I did this. And you guys can see this is the final look and what my hair looked like. And yeah, let's just go ahead and wrap this video up. Well guys, it's a few days later and I can finally give you my thoughts on this red bear and whether I am going to keep it. Um, long story short is, no, I'm probably not gonna keep it. I was not a fan of how my hair looked and felt either time that I used it. I used different products to blow out my hair. Both times my hair ended up just feeling dry y'all saw it like my hair looks like straw um even though like i deep conditioned i felt like i used moisturizing products it just sucked the moisture out of my hair personally um also i can't really say that 400 dollars is a great price for me to spend on the rev on the rev air because it's not multifunctional there i it's not multi-use like my Dyson is you know I can use my Dyson to blow dry my hair diffuse my hair I can use that in more ways and this I don't know maybe if I had my hair in twists I could use it to stretch it but it would take a really long time because it's not like I could put all of them in there and dry them all at once so it didn't save me time I feel like it took the same amount of time it's probably a lot better on my hair um than stretching because it is very gentle which is a plus like I definitely give it that but seeing as how I wasn't gifted this product at all I bought it with my own coins and I purchased my Dyson with my own coins I just don't really think I need to have both of them in my stash so comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the Rev Air. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all told me to try it out. I know quite a few of you have it and own it and love it and I can completely understand. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.